the Lord give me wisdom to read it and teach it. I preach it to the people and pray you receive it. So many be so prideful, over conceited, ignoring the Holy Spirit until it's depleted. I'm thanking the most high for true understanding. Been crawling my whole life, I'm finally standing. Keep your commandments the way you command it. It been hell on earth since Lucifer landed. Know the word to avoid temptation. I pray to the Lord for my shield against Satan. Give praise to the Lord, have faith in the Lord. Thank you. Get blessed from the Lord, no less from the Lord. I ain't running out of time. We losing our mind, look at us In the devil house, now he ready to throw the book at us Talking court cases, judged by the races In the heathen land, without the Lord, we won't make it We the kings of the earth, the kings of the land Chosen. Africa was a place where it all began Remember the diamonds, the, diamonds, the gold, gold, the silver, silver the, jewels. the jewels Take a look at our history, we were the real we Jews Taking in the bondage by our enemies, captivity Worshiping false idols, turning away literally And some will say that he forsaken us too But we've been cursed for all our sins and what we put him we the keys of the earth, the keys of the land Africa was a place where it all began Remember the diamonds, the gold, the silver, the jewels Take a look at our history, we were the real Jews Taken in the bondage by our enemies, captivity Worshiping false idols, turning away literally And some will say that he forsaken us too But we've been cursed for all our sins and what we put him through Only because of the sins of my forefathers on one side The other has been Everybody out there watching, it's your boy Lil Nine coming from Spiritual Warriors, Ascension Records. Shout out to my boy Joji, Joji Rowe, that is. He's absent at the moment, you know, but today I want to talk to y'all a little about, you know, who the, who the chosen people of the Bible is. Because, you know, we got these so-called Jews over in Israel right now, ruling right now. This one's for the Father, the Creator of the world. I'm submitted to Your will. I'ma share it to the world. I can't help the fact I think about it day and night. I, I gotta give it up to Ya. And be not still, O God, for lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up their head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Thought you could stop the rising of Jacob by telling lies, killing us even now. A pill is not, give them life, and misery will he die. We'll make that family cry and have them pray to our image, not the God of the Israelites. Let's remember what the Father commanded. Protect this holy way and stop playing the devil game so it ain't no games to play. Eve deceived us back then, but not my brain today. Like Elijah, not your wife, so I'm bringing the flame of grace. So hot for the Lord to the day I die. Will you feel the truth? There's something that'll change your life. Rearrange your life. It's really feeling so right. But when you get falling, now you get out the feeling alive. Give up the sinners to five. The sight of death got masses. Worshiping what he made. It's a tragic disaster. Race out. Judah no longer will we be spitting. Spoken to Steve and written. I'm working to do it. Hallelujah, way and all praises to the Most High Yah. Praise Yah. What a beautiful day He has blessed us with today. He's given us the opportunity to read and seek His name. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to share a couple scriptures with y'all. I'm your boy Lil Nine. This your boy Doja Rose. And we are spiritual warriors, Ascension Records. We just want to share a few scriptures with y'all. Spread knowledge. We're going to start in Judges chapter 2. And we're just going to read through the whole chapter because it's just a, it offers a chance for you to see how the Most High is merciful and how he right. repents for us and how we can repent as well as the children of Israel. Right. So we're going to go ahead and kick it off for y'all. It says, And the angel of Yahweh came up from Gilgal to Boshum and said, I made you go up out of Egypt and have brought you into the land which I swear unto your fathers. And I said, I will never break my covenant with you. 
Notice how it says never right there. That means that from the curses in Deuteronomy to the blessings, he will never break that covenant. So if we turn back then, even up to date, our affliction is going to continue to happen. Right. Go on. Verse 2. And you shall make no league with the inhabitants of this land. Ye shall throw down their altars, but ye have not obeyed my voice. Why have ye done this? Wherefore I also said, I will not drive them out from before you, but they shall be as thorns in your side, and their gods shall be as a snare unto you. And we can say, <clears throat> or see in Deuteronomy where it says the same thing, that we're going to be made to serve their gods and their idols, and they're going to be snares unto us. Same right. thing. Verse 4. And it came to pass when the angel of Yahweh spoke these words unto the children of Israel that the people lifted up their voices and wept. And they called on the name of that place Bochim, and they sacrificed there unto Yahweh. And when Joshua had let the people go, the children of Israel went every man unto his inheritance to possess the land. And people served, and the people served the Lord all the days of Joshua and all the days of the elders that outlived Joshua, who had seen all the great works of Yahweh that he had did for Israel. And Joshua, the son of Nun, the servant of Yahweh, died being a hundred and ten years old, and they buried him in the border of his inheritance. And what that is? Timnathiris. Timnathiris. And the Mount of Ephraim, on the north side of the hill Gad. And also all generations, all that generation were gathered unto their fathers, and there rose another generation after them, which knew not Yahweh nor yet the works which he had done for Israel. So, a whole generation passed by <clears throat> the ones that were with Joshua and the elders of Israel that outlived Joshua. And there came another generation that knew not Yahweh. Right. Let's see what happened. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of Yahweh and served Baalim. Baalim, they did evil in the sight of the Lord Yahweh and served Baalim. It's a false god. If you look him up, he's compared to a dying and rising god. Right. And they forsook Yahweh Elohim of their father, which brought them out of the land of Egypt, and followed other gods, and other gods of people that were round about them, and bowed themselves unto them, and provoked Yahweh to anger. And they forsook Yahweh and served Baal and Ashtoreth. And the anger of Yahweh was hot against Israel. And he delivered them into the hands of spoilers that spoiled them. And he sold them into the hands of their enemies round about so that they could not, so they could not any longer stand before their enemies. Okay, hold on. So... In history, or in this Bible, which is the history of the Hebrew Israelites, the Most High actually sold the children of Israel to the hand of their enemies. And let these people spoil them for forsaking him for serving other gods, just like people are doing today. Says, Whithersoever they went out, the hand of Yahweh was against them for evil. As Yahweh had said, as the Lord had sworn unto them, and they were greatly distressed. Nevertheless, Yahweh raised up judges, which delivered them out of the hand of those that spoiled them. And yet they would not hearken unto their judges, but they went a whoring after other gods, and bowed themselves unto them. They turned quickly out of the way which their fathers walked, or walked in, obeying the commandments of the Lord, but they did not so. Sound like some hard-headed children to me. Stubborn. Stiff-necked. Stiff-necked. Ignorant. We got all the false gods in the world. 
Don't even want to be ourselves, bro. Right. Our hard guy. Right. So let's see what happens whenever that go down. Where we at? 18. And when Yahweh raised them up judges, then Yahweh was with the judge and delivered them out of the hand of their enemies all the day of the judge. For it repented Yahweh because of their groaning by reason of them that oppressed them and vexed them. So Yahweh had mercy on the way in the Old Testament when people are saying that salvation wasn't offered until Jesus came. It says that he repented because of our groanings and those the reason of them that oppress them and vexed them. So basically him seeing us suffering and going through our affliction made him basically have a more sorrowful heart and be more merciful to us. Because of his word that he promised to us. Nineteen. And it came to pass when the judge was dead that they returned and corrupted themselves more than their fathers and following other gods to serve them and to bow down unto them, they see not from their doing nor from their stubborn way. Wow. Children of Israel. Oh, What's going on? The same thing today? Do it sound like us? Jesus. We're doing the, we're doing the same thing that we were doing back in ancient times. Just in modern day form, new God, but the same thing. But we gotta wake up and turn away from these guys in unity, not just, I mean, most definitely individually, because you can't wake up everybody, but right. as a nation of woke people, we gotta turn together back to the most high with all of our hearts and souls. Right. Just like Israel started doing whenever they got vexed and spoiled by their enemies, they turned back and the most high. Raised up a judge. Do this to my people. Exodus 5 2. And Pharaoh said, Who is the Lord that I should obey his voice to let Israel go? I know not the Lord. Neither would I let Israel go. Brother, what if I told you? Since you was only a child.